Hey, well, good evening, everyone. I just wanted to make this quick video to send out a word to you. It's Monday on March the 16th, and it feels like any day but Monday. Uh, in fact, it, it doesn't feel like any day. It feels like a day we've never lived before. I know you know what I mean. This is, uh, this is a difficult time for everyone in our nation and really in our world as we work through this whole thing of this pandemic, of the coronavirus, and how it's changing our way of life. And every day it seems something new is shutting down around us. This afternoon I stopped by my favorite Starbucks uh, for one last time. They're taking out all the chairs tomorrow so you can't sit in there and work. And, you know, just trying to create an atmosphere where people won't gather, which is just totally foreign to how we think. Uh, as Christians especially, we just we love to gather uh, with each other and with friends and, and just the church. Yesterday was so strange not being able to worship together in church, but yet we still worshiped. We saw that yesterday I, I heard re just reports from everyone in lots of different churches what a meaningful time they had uh, worshiping in their homes, watching services online. And, and you know what kind of broke my heart after I thought about it for a while was all of the elders among us who the senior citizens who maybe couldn't watch online and now are totally quarantined and can't have anyone even family and spouses come to visit them uh, these are definitely difficult days and they're days we haven't lived through before but i want to speak a word of encouragement into your hearts today i know this is hard we're not used to this in america but if we will be willing to sacrifice we can lead the way in helping, helping people understand science, understand medicine, governments, nations understand how to fight pandemic things like this and how to get ahead of it instead of uh, reacting from behind. So I just want to say that I'm praying for all of you. Uh, the, the face of ministry looks different. I, I'm going to do a funeral on Friday and it's, they said the family has to invite less than 50 people. And I don't even know if that's going to change because today they announced, the government announced that really it should be a gathering of 10 or less. So I'm still up in the air on what's going to happen about that funeral. But, but I do know this for sure. Our God is with us. And throughout history, people have gone through much worse times than what we're going through. Uh, so let this be a time that draws us together, even as families, as we spend perhaps more time together as families, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, but let it be a time that strengthens us, not tears us apart, not breaks us down, not lets us live in a, in a, in a spirit of fear and anxiety. Uh, a couple of scriptures have just been running through my heart this day, uh, and that is Isaiah 26, 3. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. I love that scripture. I, I, I just memorized it in King James all those years ago. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. So ask yourself, do you have perfect peace about this storm we're going through right now, this pandemic? If you don't have perfect peace about it, why don't you turn it over to God? You know, there's another scripture that says, cast all of your anxiety on him, meaning Jesus Christ, because he cares for you. Jesus Christ We'll take all the fear, all the panic, all the anxiety, just cast it on him because he cares for us. He cares for you. He cares for what we're going through. And what we're going through, as I mentioned a minute ago, it's, it's just nothing compared to what other uh, lands and nations and peoples are going through now even and have gone through throughout history. Some of the, the horrible times. Uh, we, we are blessed people here in the United States. We live in the freest land ever. So as we lose a few of these freedoms, um, let's just let it draw us into a more thankful spirit, a spirit that says, uh, thank you, God, for my family. Thank you for my home. Uh, pray for those that don't have a home, the homeless among us. Uh, there's some challenging things around us. Ask God to lead you in how you can pray, but to lead you also in how you can serve as these next few weeks draw upon us, I believe there's going to be greater opportunities to serve, even on an individual basis. If we can't get together in larger groups, there's, there's going to be opportunities to serve humanity, as I know 
Jesus Christ wants us to do. So I want to thank you uh, for uh, your friendship. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support of Brad Riley Ministries. Uh, some exciting things are happening. I'm actually getting ready to launch a pastoral counseling service this week. In fact, uh, the office is opening tomorrow. It's at 560 South Oliver, Kellogg and Oliver area. So that's exciting uh, to do some pastoral counseling for people that are hurting. I uh, don't know how much of that we'll be doing in the, in the near term. It's certainly one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, it's not large gatherings. But I know God is with us, so be encouraged. And remember, cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. And remember that God will keep you in perfect peace. He will give you a perfect peace. Pray for our churches, pray for our land, pray for our leaders, pray for our doctors and nurses and, and caregivers and all those who are really on the front lines of helping to try and keep everyone safe. I love you all. God bless you. And I look forward to a time when we can even get together for some events again.